Pension reforms for public servants are at the top of the Korean political agenda this week. President Park Geun-hye stressed the need for a reform during Tuesday's cabinet meeting, but political discord at the National Assembly continues. Our Park Ji-won reports. Korea's pension plan for public servants has been in deficit since the mid-1990s, with shortages filled by taxes. To address this pressing matter, President Park Geun-hye, speaking at Tuesday's cabinet meeting, called on the National Assembly to urgently address these public servant pension reforms for the future of the country. 국회가 시한 내에 이 연금 개혁을 마무리 짓지 못하면 내년부터는 매일 100억 원씩 연간 3조 7 3조 7천억 원의 세금이 들어가야 하고. President Park stressed that these reforms should be carried out in a way that efficiently reduces the government budget, but also demonstrates fairness and sustainability to Koreans. Both political parties previously agreed to pass the reform plan at the full assembly on May 2nd. However, on Tuesday, they failed to form a working group for negotiations on the reforms. The main opposition has been saying that they have strengths in economic affairs, but I'd like to ask them how they can say such things when they drag on and oppose the pension reforms. It is unacceptable that the government tries to get through the reforms with the ruling party leading the process, with a limited deadline just like a military operation. The reforms should be proactively led by the government, like labor management negotiations. Meanwhile, public sector unions said they will not participate at the negotiating table if the May 2nd deadline is upheld. Park Ji-won, Arirang News.